We've all heard the story of the Annunciation. There's Mary, the Archangel Gabriel appears to her, gives her this incredible task. She says yes, and the rest you could say is history, right? But I want to focus on two parts of the story that might be overlooked. The first is the humility of God. So in the, in the whole Bible is the story of God redeeming his people. So he makes us out of love, and then through man, sin enters the world, and therefore death, and we are separated from the love of God. And so his grand plan is through his son to become man and to redeem the world, right? But he's humble enough to lower himself, not only to becoming man, but to inviting man's participation in the story of redemption. So he humbles himself and comes to Mary and asks her permission to unfold this, this plan of redemption, to have his son enter the world. Talk about an incredible example to us of true humility. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, is when Mary encounters the, the angel and Gabriel says like, this is this incredible task, you're gonna conceive and bear a son and yada, yada, yada. Her response is like many of us when we're faced with a big challenge from God, kind of like, how is this gonna happen? She asks a question before she says yes. And God in his infinite patience and love and mercy. He doesn't like say, oh, you asked a question. I don't want to use you anymore. He respects the question. The, the, Gabriel respects her question, answers her question, and then she says yes. So whenever you're faced with a challenge from the Lord, it's okay to get before him and, and ask a question. Say, Lord, what are you trying to teach me in this? So let's learn from God's humility and let's learn from their exchange between Mary and the angel that we can come before the Lord and ask him questions. God bless you.